Hey, welcome back. If P is the perimeter of a triangle with one side of six and another side of 10, what is the range of possible values for P? All right, the answer here is D, 20 is less than P, is less than 32, or P is between 20 and 32, not inclusive. So here's how we get this. We need to understand first what P means because the question says, hey, what is the range of possible values of P? So what I'm gonna do now is look at the question itself, the statements, and look for what P means and how I can generate a relationship with P. So P is the perimeter of a triangle. Okay, remember that perimeter is all sides added together. So perimeter equals A plus B plus C, the three sides. We add them together. That is what it is. Now we understand that one side is six and the other side is 10. So we have six and 10, but we don't know what that third side is. So let's go ahead and use our reasoning here to figure this out. Because what applies here, remember we have three sides of a triangle with one of them missing. We can apply the triangle inequality theorem. All right, so to apply this, what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and try to find out what that third side is. I'll use T for the third side. So to use T for the third side, remember the trick here is start off by subtracting those two values and then add them. And so your third side will lie in between those two values. So that is the trick to the triangle inequality theorem. To find out what that third side could be, it's gonna be in between the difference and the sum of the other two sides. That's the trick. Now, remember that we're trying to talk about perimeter though. We wanna know the possible values of P, which is the perimeter. So how do we do that though? Well, remember, the perimeter is the three sides added together. I don't see the six or the 10 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remember, that's gonna be 16 if I add them together. What I'm gonna do is just add 16 to all of my sides. Remember, with inequalities, Whatever you do to one side, you do to all sides. So keep the balance, add 16 to everything, because this will give me the perimeter. Again, we have t, 6, and 10, that will create 16 plus t, which is exactly what we have. And so t plus 16, again, which is my perimeter, is going to be between 32 and 20. And there's my answer. Again, my perimeter will be between 20 and 32, just rewatch the video, and, and if that confuses you, know, go back and rewatch the video. If you have any additional questions, please go ahead, read the written explanation, reach out to us. You know that we are always here to help. So with that said, see you in the next question.